Sebastian would be appalled. Welcome to news time. It is now 3 a.m. The internet is full of so-called internet bloggers and fangirls. But what are they? Not many people know what Alexandra Filch is about to tell us. Fangirl, a word that not many of our viewers have heard before, yet in the world of internet bloggers well known. To show you what a real fangirl is, I interviewed the 14-year-old Trisha Stamford. So Trisha, you are a real fangirl, aren't you? Oh my god, I love Dennis Not On Fire. Um, who exactly is this Dan is not on fire? Oh my god, you don't know that? <sighs> well, he's literally the hottest and most awesome YouTuber. Ah, alright, um, I see. What do you know about him? Well, his name's Dan Howell, he lives in London with his best friend Phil Lester, aka okay, Amazing Phil. He's 22 years old, he loves Lamas, Maltesers and News, and he does a radio show every Sunday on BBC Radio 1 with Phil. You seem to know a lot about him. Have you ever met him? Um, no, but I've seen lots of gifs of him on Tumblr. And I've tweeted him. He never tweeted back, but I know he will. <sighs> and, and I've written a fan fiction about Dan and me. Oh my god, I'm totally shipping it. <laughs> what exactly is a fan fiction? Or shipping? Oh my god, you don't know that. <sighs> well, you should totally watch Dan's video about that. It's called I Will Go Down With This Ship. And it's one of my faves, but I mean, I love all of his videos, lol. <laughs> so, do you just watch Dan's videos, or do you like other YouTubers as well? I like Dan for PJ Chris, so basically the whole Fantastic Foursome. Jack and Finn, Alex and Charlie, Jack and Dean, Ian and Anthony, Bri Bri and Bing. But, you know, Dan is just the hardest to like him the most. YOLO! <laughs> what is YOLO? Oh my god, YOLO means you only live once, and it's Dan's most favourite sentence. But you need to excuse me now, I need to check whether there are any new tweets, posts, videos, off or about Dan. I also talked to Trisha's mum about the time Dan is not on fire and how she lives with the fact that her daughter spends nearly every minute of her free time looking at pictures of Daniel Howell. Mrs Stanford, your daughter seems to like that Daniel, doesn't she? Yeah, she really does. It started a year ago when she found him through a website called Tumblr. She watched all of his videos and became really obsessed with him. How has life changed since then? She doesn't speak about anything but Dan. She, she started eating Maltesers even though she hates them, I know it. She doesn't go out, she says it's because she's socially awkward. I don't even know what that means. Apparently that's something Dan says about himself. She spends hours on her laptop watching GIFs and videos about him. We really don't have a life together anymore. It's just her, Dan. Thank you, Alexandra Filch, for telling us how hard it can be to live with a so-called fangirl. And now, tomorrow's weather. I'm professional. What do you know? What do you knowing? What do you knowing about him? Oh yes, my English is so very good. Especially when I mix it up with my German accent, then it's just brilliant. Brilliant, I tell you. Yeah, that's how professional I am. Don't jump on the table. Could you please not do this? Hello, mister. I really miss my daughter. I really do. She was so different a year ago. We talked about normal stuff like normal families did. And not her. She, she only talks about Dan. She really needs help and I can't do anything. I shouldn't cry on national TV, should I? Fangirl. I'm a massive fangirl. 
sometimes I feel a little bit weird when I film this stuff. This is a hard job. This is very hard. Hard job. Hard. <laughs>